And welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over 20 plus editing effects in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, obviously, you already saw the intro, and then here is the editing breakdown of the intro. Now, this video is going to be much more like a compilation video. I'm not going to, you know, some of these clips hold for too long. They're not, you know, all edited to the beat. And it's like a, you know, one, one and a half minute um, intro. But I kind of wanted to put a compilation together of a whole bunch of different little effects and tricks that I've seen on Instagram, YouTube, whoever. I just want to kind of put them all together into one big video. Obviously, I consider, you know, making like 20 separate videos, but I thought it'd be a lot easier just to make one massive video. Um, and that's literally what this video is all about just a compilation of all of these different effects what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of go frame by frame and just give you a brief overview of each one of these um, effects okay so let's start with the first effect right here I'm just gonna zoom in right here and again like I said before I'm just gonna gonna kind of go just frame by frame so as you can see right here I'll go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 basically as you can see right here this is just a cutout um, letter effect and basically what I have it doing right here is it just a letter appears um, every single frame so I kind of create this really cool kind of like typewriter effect and then I have this frame rate effect right here if I go ahead and click on shift command G um, right here that's what the inside of the compound clip um, looks like right there so basically what like a brief overview of this effect is I use an effect called the um, frame rate effect and what the frame rate effect does is it basically just like freezes all uh, the frames and it changes frames like every four or five frames so instead of individually taking you know like five separate screenshots of this video by using that effect it like automatically kind of the simplest way to explain it is it basically creates like automatic screenshots so you can see right here one two three four right here one two three four five as you can see it changes like every four or five frames by using the frame rate effect it basically just creates um, screenshots so you don't have to actually like you know create individual freeze frames or individual screenshots it's just a quicker way of doing it and then right here just have Patrick Mahomes masked out Patrick Mahomes is this is just keyframing I just keyframe him moving to the left right here and then just have the background zooming out right there pretty simple right there so I'm gonna get over, head over here so just calamari playing right here as you can see all of these usually last for like 10 frames as you can see um, it's scaled down to 95% holds for 10 frames right here and then is replaced by the second clip which also is scaled down to 95% and as you can see right there boom it's just a harsh jump cut into the next um, uh, clip right there now let's go to the next one right here all I did right here if I click on it right here all I did was I just keyframe the scale for 10 frames I went from 0 to 100 just keyframe the scale and then boom Patrick Mahomes just uh, instead of you know doing like a pop and freeze frame the entire frame um, pops and right there and I think it's a pretty cool effect right there 
So next effect right here is a Patrick Mahomes running right here. And then it creates another like frame and frame with like a black and white effect. Holds for 10 frames. And as you can see right there, then we have another one of Patrick Mahomes in color. So just like color, black and white color. So it's a pretty cool kind of contrast. And then you could end the clip right there. I just decided to keep playing it. That is, you know, all up to you. Now right here, if I go to the glow transition right here, go to the color board right here. All I do is just keyframe like the exposure and the color right there. So you kind of create this really cool, instead of like a flash transition, you just like glow flash transition right here, which I think is a pretty cool um, effect right there. Now under this one right here, go ahead and just play it right here. So you can see right here, it's just a whole bunch of different photos. Every like three or four frames, uh, the, uh, different photos pop up uh, right here. So you can see every like three or four frames, different photos pop up. So here's what it looks like right there. Obviously you can mess around with it uh, to, uh, as much as you want. So in the next like four or five, six frames, then you just have one pop up in the middle right here. This could be a video or a photo as you can see right there. And then it's like some of the previous effects where I'll go actually, I'll go and play it right here. I'll go back right here, which is basically like a harsh uh, cut right there. It's just like a harsh jump cut, which I'm starting to become a little bit of a fan of. You know, you can make, you can make your own you know, decision on whether or not you like that, but that's just my personal opinion. So go to this one right here. So you can see right here, I'll just kind of go over this quick right here. It's just kind of Patrick Mahomes with like a white border effect. And anytime I have, anytime I have like a white background, I use a custom generator and then I change the color white. And then you have this split screen right here, where basically you have two videos on either side. These videos are the same, and this video is different so it kind of created kind of a weird um, split screen instead of every single one of it every single one of these videos being the same two of them are the same and one of them is different right there and then you can see right here this is just like a very simple one and you know adding a little bit of this it looks a little bit better instead of just having it like completely fill the frame it's you know a personal preference and then right here I just have a video playing right here and then two photos obviously you probably want these two photos to like mimic actions but obviously I, tr I tried my best to find photos that you know kind of made sense together but obviously you know if it's just, if it's just like a, like a a shoot or a commercial shoot obviously you're gonna have you know better photos but this is just an example and then right here I just have a falling frame effect so it holds hold like 10 frames and then all I do is I just keyframe the y-axis every 10 frames so we kind of create this really cool kind of falling um, frame effect right here and then you have this effect which I've made multiple videos um, on this effect so all you have right here is a custom background which I just got from Canva. I made a video, you know, on how to get those backgrounds, so definitely go ahead and check it out. So all you have right here is Patrick Mahomes it is just sliding to the left, the background is sliding to the right, and then you have this really cool kind of text repeater effect. And they usually sli uh, slid the each one of these about like 25 pixels. Now if you're wondering right here, um, this background, like you know the dimensions, I'll go ahead and click on view right here, click on show horizon, I'll go and just disable the background so you can see that's what it looks like you know, in terms of uh, the grid outline right here I just have it stop at these two um, lines right there obviously you know you can you know, figure out which one uh, you help how big or small you want the video but that's just what I did right there now I'm gonna head over to this effect right here it's just like every 10 frames I just have like a multiple frame effect right here and then it just gets replaced uh, by another photo right here and it basically is the same effect um, but in reverse right there now head over to the next one right here this is just a clip of DeAndre Hopkins right here with this really cool kind of cut out background effect I'll go ahead and kind of just uh, the, I'll leave the, the three layers basically just a whole bunch of different layers and you're just using a mask right here so I'll go ahead and like shift command G right here and that's what it looks like um, right there so those are the different layers and then all I do is just use a mask to a mask to kind of just reveal the layers um, below it right there and invert the mask and just mess with it until I like uh, kind of like go until I like what it looks like so right here so go ahead so you can see right here he just glows right here the mask is inverted then it's black and white and then it keeps playing so it creates this really cool kind of um, a flash transition which I personally like I mean obviously when you go slow it looks kind of weird but when you go really really fast it, it kind of creates this really cool flash transition so you can see right here these really cool really cool CRT um, screen right here so go like this so go one two three four one two one two three one two three one two three four one two one two three 
this is easy right there basically i'm just moving his um moving this photo like every three or four frames so i'm either moving it up moving it sideways moving the position so instead of having it like keyframe in a one smooth motion it's cut up right here so go ahead shift command g um right here so you can see right there it's cut up into multiple different frames and then i just move it like every three or four frames um right there so it's pretty simple right there and then i have right here i have this background layer right here this top layer right here which is just a picture of the arizona cardinal stadium and as you can see right here i just have a mask right here and i'm just moving the mask every three or four frames right here to kind of create this liquid transition right there so you can see that's what it looks like right here and then just have a custom generator right here just kind of covering his eyes and it's kind of a cool effect that's a personal preference so this is the next clip right here so i think i've got uh, a photo on the left photo on the right and the photo on the right uh, and the, what I, you can see right here, I basically just cut out different portions of the photo. So I'll kind of just go frame by frame. So you can see right one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you can see right there, every like three or four frames, I just randomly cut out um, parts of the different photos. Right here, there's no like rhyme or reason for you know which parts I cut out. It's just a whole bunch of different random cuts, as you can see right there. So as you can see right here, I'll just kind of go different frames. As you can see, there's just different parts of the photos. There's no rhyme or reason to which which um, you know which uh, parts of the photo I cut out right there. It's just you know it's just random, just a bunch of random cuts right there. You just take these photos and you just cut out different parts of the photos, and it kind of creates this really weird kind of like glitchy um, uh, transition. But I think it's pretty cool, and that's pretty much it right there so it's just there's no rhyme or reason you just cut out a whole bunch of different parts por uh, parts of the photo every like four or five frames and obviously you want, you want to blade the photos up and just mess with it but I just want to give you a brief overview so you see this is a pretty easy one right here just a frame right here and then I just create a copy and just create some cr uh, cropped out versions um, right there now this video you know, this is a pretty cool um, effect right there obviously you wouldn't want to have this you know in like a hype video so you can see right here this is what it looks like right here now i really found it really difficult when i was editing different videos commentary videos and i had a whole bunch of photos at different sizes and i wanted to use the ken's burn effect and use the transitions so what i did was i took all the photos right here i fit them to this uh the screen right there then i put the different transitions so like luma fade cross dissolve zoom in i just added a whole bunch of different transitions then i went ahead and took all those clips all those photos create a compound clip and then use the ken's burn effect so as you can see right here, I'll go ahead and just play it right here. Uh, as you see right here, it's zooming in right here. So I'm using the Ken's burn effect and also using transitions. So just a really cool effect. So take the photos, uh, resize them, add transitions, create a compound clip, and then the compound clip is and then I use the Ken's burn effect with the compound clip um, right there. So I'll go ahead and play this one right here. These are just a whole bunch of different photos right here, really like 10 frames. I just use this kind of you know, build up to this next effect right here. So here's a photo right here. So I'll go ahead and play right here. As you can see, it scales out right here. So I'll go ahead and just scales it right here and reveals a whole bunch of different photos um, right here. And I think it holds for like, I think it's like 50 frames, 40 or 50 frames. It, it kind of went for a long time right there. As you can see, here are all the different photos and then it zooms into this next photo right here. So this would take a very long time to you know explain or redo how I go over how I completely create this effect. Basically what you're just doing is you're just basically just putting a whole bunch of layers together, moving stuff off screen, creating compound clips. You basically just keep messing with it until you, you know, get the look that you want it would take me like two hours to go over how i create this effect but i just want to kind of give you a brief overview just take, take different clips create multiple compound clips move uh, move photos off the screen it's just a, i basically have a compound clip right here and then i move photos off the screen right here scale it out to like you know like 50 percent right here so you can see um all of the different uh photos right here and that's pretty much um it right there so you want to make sure you scale up to 50 percent uh, scale it to 50 percent right there so you can kind of move the photos um around that's pretty much it so you kind of just scale it right here and then of course you can adjust um the scale and the keyframe you know adjust the keyframe linear smooth depends on the look that you want right there but there you go i just want to kind of you know, give you a brief overview so that's what it kind of looks like um right there and it's a lot of fun to kind of just mess with it until you get the look that you want as you can see right here is a frame right here just you know decrease the scale put like a crt tv background right here here's a three-way split screen right there and then here right here's just like a, a stacking um, frame effect right there. 
thought was a pretty cool um, effect right there. Head over to this one right here. Here's just a whole bunch of split screens. You can go ahead and you know either have them all the same video or different. And then right here, I created this really cool effect. This one I didn't come up with. This one I just found on Instagram. But it was a pretty cool idea. A photo of the person, the name of the team, name of the player, athlete, and then I just you know copied this off of Wikipedia like a description. I thought it was a pretty cool idea. I don't think you know it's for everyone, but that was a cool idea to include. So you can see right here, here is this 3D rotating effect right here. Now if I head over here, if you're wondering how I created this effect, I got this idea from King Tut's Pro. So what if I just keyframe the scale right here to 300% and the scale is being keyframed all the way down to zero right here. Then it holds, then it heads over here, keyframe it back to uh, 300 as it rotates. So it creates this really cool kind of trippy um, 3D effect. Uh, 3D effect right there. Now head over to this one right here. This was a really cool sequence of events um, right here. So I'll go ahead and play this right here. So you just have it right here every like three or four frames. So you can see right there um, now it key frames together right here. So it key frames like three or four frames. Then you move on to the next clip right here, which is Kyler Murray um, right here playing. And then Kyler Murray freezes right here. And then like five frames. Buddha Baker comes in one, two, three, four, five frames. He key frames in a position right here. Then it plays to his clip um, right there. And then you see. Um, um, Buddha Baker uh, freezes for then one, two, three, four, five. Ryan Tannehill comes in one, two, three, four, five, uh, five. And then Tannehill key frames in position right here, plays for like ten frames, and then you have this really cool kind of cutout effect right here. So then like every like every like three or four frames, you either have them zoom out, move the position, move the scale. It's basically you just, you cut up the photo, and like every three or four frames, you basically just adjust the scale, adjust the position. It's all up to you. It's all a personal preference. And that's what it looks like um, right there. So you play right here, and then as you can see right there, then we transition to the next clip um, right there. So go ahead and play the clip right here, and then you have like another cut effect right there. So you can see right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It just pops into place. It's just like a harsh jump cut right here. So you can see one, two, zooms out, one, two, three back in and as you can see there you go you play the effect uh, right there so go ahead over to here right here so go ahead it's just like a normal freeze frame right here one two three four and then one two three four five right there and basically what that is is it's just the opposite of a freeze frame instead of using a freeze frame to transition into the clip you're using a freeze frame to transition out of the clip which I thought was a really cool idea so go ahead and play right here Patrick Mahomes freezes one two three four five six seven eight he zooms out one two three four five six and then there you go and then you move on to the next effect right here which is basically just a letter pops up every frame and i use an rgb um shake effect right there so i thought that was a really cool idea now if you're wondering how do you create that border effect i'll go ahead and click on shift command g right here so basically what i just did was i took the freeze frame right here or if you're wondering how to create a freeze frame go to the frame that you want to freeze and click option f just in case you wonder how to create a freeze frame so she's right here i masked out column right, right here i did kill like a cutout mask then i took the mask I use this custom generator, copy the mask over this custom generator, and then I just increase the scale right there. And that's how I created that cutout um, layer effect. I use a custom generator right there. And that's basically how I created that effect. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all the effects right there. I try to do my best to kind of go frame by frame. Obviously, this isn't going to be like a step by step tutorial because that would take like um, probably seven days to you know, break every single effect down. But I kind of want to just give you a basic overview of all these different effects. Obviously, you can see in the intro. If you really want to, you could screen record the intro and import the final cut and go frame by frame if I didn't go slow enough. But I try to go slow enough to kind of go over um, every single effect. And that's pretty much it. Anyways, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 240 um, Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So definitely go ahead and check out that playlist if you want to watch more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. And again, if you really enjoy this, enjoy these types of videos, enjoy these like Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, and you want to watch more effects and uh, more tutorials, and you're wondering if I have more videos, again, like I have a whole tutorial, a whole playlist that I'll link up in the annotated cards, and I should have one down in the description down below if you want to watch more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. And if you're wondering, I don't believe any of these plugins or any of these effects that I use in this video cost money. Um, so I've, oh, the, the frame rate effect might cost money, but I think other than that, every single effect that I used in this video is completely free. So. 
you don't have to worry um, about that. And again, if you enjoyed this video and you really like these effects, highly, highly, highly encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. At this point, I'm kind of just stalling a little bit so I can kind of you know, finish the video. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.